Good morning, boys and girls. It is Monday, April 5th. Today we're going to talk about rounding decimals. Uh, we are in section three, which is pink, and we are on page 77, which should be about halfway through. We've already learned uh, about all of these decimals before, so we should be finished up to page 76. So we're now on page 77, lesson five, and we're gonna try and round some decimals. Now, uh, let me grab my pencil real quick. Now, remember, uh, before we were trying to round to the nearest 10 or to the nearest 100, like if I gave you the number 47, and we were trying to round to the nearest 10, we would round up to 50 because 47 is closer to 50 than it is to 40, okay? All right, so it says, Muna says 22.6 is 22 when rounded to the nearest whole number, all right? Uh, in this case, I would say Muna is not correct here. 22.6, if we're trying to round to the nearest whole number, 22.6 uh, is between 22 over here and 23 over here on a number line. So if I was rounding, 22.6 uh, is closer to 23. I would round up in this case. And we will learn a bit more about that right now. Let's check out number one, rounding to the nearest whole number. Okay, round 8.5 to the nearest whole number. As we can see on our number line here, 8.5 is exactly halfway between eight and nine. So in this case, we would round up to nine. Okay, anything 8.5.6, 7.8.9, uh, all of those numbers we would round up. Anything 8.4, 8.3, 8.2, 8.1, we would round those down to 8, okay? But we have 8.5 here, so in this case, we would round up to 9. Next, number 2 here. Karina is 1.45 meters tall. Round 1.45 to the nearest meter, okay? So, um, 1.45 meters is between one meter and two meter. However, as we can see, it is closer to one meter. So if I was rounding to the nearest meter, I would have to round down, okay? Uh, 1.5, anything above that, we would round up to two. However, we are closer to one meter. So in this case, I would round down to one. All right, let's check out number three. Part three, round 9.513 to the nearest whole number. Now, once again, anything 9.5 or higher, we would round up. Anything under 9.5, we would round down to nine. So 9.513, we have these extra uh, numbers over here. This is more than 9.5. In this case, I would round up, okay? This would round up to 10 is the nearest whole number. Let's keep going, kids. Page 78, round a decimal to the uh, to one decimal place, which means we're dealing with tenths. Okay, so if I have a cup that contains 0 0.83 liters of water, we want to round 0 0.83 to one decimal place. So uh, right now we have two decimal places, meaning we have hundredths here. Let's round it to the nearest tenth, all right? 0 0.83 is between 0 0.8 and 0 0.9, however, it is closer to 0 0.8, as we can see from this number line. So I would round down to 0 
eight, okay? Uh, when rounded to one decimal place, we would round it to 0 0.8. Number five, round 1.75 to the nearest tenth. Uh, as I was saying before, if we're rounding to the nearest tenth, it means we're rounding to one decimal place. So 1.75 is between 1.7 and 1.8 here. And it is, is exactly halfway between 1.7 and 1.8. So what are we gonna do? Well, in this case, we are going to round up to 1.8. As I said previously, if you have something exactly halfway, we want to round up. Anything below 1.75, we would round down. 1.75 and above, we go up to 1.8. And let's check out our friend right here. He says rounding to the nearest tenth is the same as rounding to one decimal place. That is important to remember. This is my tenths place, all right? Next, we want to round 2.984 to one decimal place. Once again, one decimal place means we are dealing with the tenths place. So is 2.984 closer to 2.9 or to three over here? 2.984 is between 2.9 and three. It is nearer to three than to 2.9 as we can see on this number line. So. We want to round it to one decimal place. We would round it to 3.0, okay? 2.984 is about 3.0. And 3 and 3.0 are the same number. However, if we're rounding to one decimal place, we should put this 0 0.0 here at the end. Page 79, I think. Yes. All right. Round a decimal to two decimal places. A sheet of plastic is 0 0.014 centimeters thick. Round 0 0.014 centimeters to two decimal places. All right. So if we're rounding to two decimal places, we are now in the hundredths column here. Okay. My one is two decimal places after this decimal point here. So it is between 0 0.01 and 0 0.02. Here's the halfway marker here with 0 0.015. So this appears to be closer to 0 0.01, all right? It is nearer to 0 0.01 than to 0 0.02. So therefore we would round down in this case to 0 0.01. Let's look at number eight. Round 2.345 to the nearest hundred. And we're rounding to one decimal place. We are rounding to the nearest tenth. If we're rounding to the nearest uh, hundredth, we are rounding to two decimal places. Our friend here says rounding to the nearest hundredth is the same as rounding to two decimal places. Yes, because we are in the hundredths place here. Now, 2.3. 4.5 is exactly halfway between 2.34 and 2.35, as we can see here. So what do we do in this case? Well, we are going to round up, okay? Because that is what we do when we have exactly halfway. Um, if it was any other number down here, then we would round down to 2.34. However, in this case, we are going to round up to 2.34. Five. Let's do some number nine. Now I want to round 5.997 to two decimal places. All right, so here's my halfway marker, 5.995. It looks like we are nearer to six. All right, we've got 5.99 over here. And we've also got 6.00 here. Now remember, 6.00 is the same as six. However, it is also the closest uh, hundredth here, okay? It is nearer to 6.00 than to 5.99. And we are writing six 
as 6.00 because we want to make sure it is written to two decimal places here. Um, let's move down to this guided practice. Don't worry, we'll handle this in class here. I'll just do one of these examples here. Um, if I was to round 3.4 to the nearest whole number, 3.4 is between the whole numbers 3 and 4, okay? It is closer to 3. It is nearer to 3. 3.5 and up, I would round to four. However, 3.4, I'm rounding down to three. All right, let's keep going. Number one, round 34.45 to the nearest whole number. Okay, so 34.45 is between 34 and 35. All right, however, Here's as though, oh, I'm not sure what's happening with my wonderful computer here. All right, um, it is closer to 34. How do I know that? This is our halfway divider here. This is 34.50 or 34.5. 34.45 is between 34 and 35, 34.45 is nearer to 34 than to 35, as you can see on our number line. So therefore, 34.45 is 34 when rounded to the nearest whole number. All right, make sure you know what you're rounding to, whether it's one decimal place or two decimal places or even three decimal. All right, so next they want you to round all of these numbers to the nearest whole number, okay? So let's take letter A, 0 0.7, the two numbers it is between is 0 and 1, okay? 0 0.5 is halfway in between, so 0 0.7 is closer to 1 than it is to 0. Let's look at part B. Part B says 4.3. 4.3 is between 4 and 5. All right. However, it is closer to 4. So in this case, I would round down. 41.5. Oops. Let me get rid of this. All right. Now, 41.5 is a special case where it is exactly halfway between 41 and 42. So if we have a number that is exactly halfway, we should round up. So I'm gonna round up to 42. Part D, now I have 23.04. Remember, I'm rounding to the nearest whole number. It doesn't matter how many decimal places we have here. So what should I do? All right, well, 23.04 is very close to the number 23, all right? It's in between the two whole numbers of 23 and 24. However, it is very close to 23. Let's look at 9.098. Now they are trying to trick you here. The two whole numbers it is between are nine and 10. All right, and Let's look here. We have zero tenths here, which means on a number line, this number would be somewhere like right here, okay? It is very close to the number nine. Don't worry about this 98 over here. Those are very small decimals. All right, and lastly, we have 99.826, 99.826. is between 99 and 100. All right, however, let's look here. Now I have eight tenths. Eight tenths means this is more than halfway, okay? 99.5 would be halfway. This is definitely more 
than 99.5, so I'm going to round up to 100. All right, and let's keep going. Next, I want to round to uh, one decimal place. Okay, so we're rounding to the nearest tenth. So um, we are between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 here. Here's my halfway point with 0 0.35. So I can tell I have more than halfway. I should round up. Okay, 0 0.36 is between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4. 0 0.36 is nearer to 0 0.4 than to 0 0.3. All right, so 0 0.36 is 0 0.4 when rounded to one decimal place. And next, it says round the following decimals to one decimal place. Remember, it doesn't matter how many decimal points or decimal places you have after, you're still rounding to one decimal place, okay? So I'm not gonna do all of these for you. Um, I think we can figure these out in class today. Let's try letter A though, 5.26. All right, now remember, I'm rounding to one decimal place. So 5.26 is between 5.2 and 5.3. All right, so let's take a look at the hundredths here. Uh, it appears that we need to round up here. Okay, anything 0 0.5, 0 0.05 and up, we're gonna round up. So this should be 5.3 when rounded to one decimal place. Let's do one more. Now I have 4.823. 4.83, sorry, is between 4.8 and 4.9. So once again, let's just look at our number in the hundredths place, which is a three here. So three seems like we need to round down. This is closer to 4.8 than to 4.9. All right, and I think we can take care of the rest of these in class. Just make sure you pay attention to how many decimal places you are supposed to round to. In part five here, we want to round two decimal places, okay? All right. Uh, that is all for now. We will take care of this and our homework, which will be pages 61 and 62 in class. All right. Bye-bye, kids. I'll see you in class at 1030 and 1 p.m.